Hello and welcome to Tykes TV. Uh, Neil Ellis here, you all know me, and it's great to have Jacob on. Uh, people that don't know Jacob, um, he was on channel last year, uh, last season, uh, as well as this season, home and away. And we also did a prediction for uh, start at season as well. I don't think we're a million miles away with that as well, how it panned out. But uh, yeah, Jacob, I mean, looking at fixtures, I mean, looking at table, um, First of all, before we get to the game, what's going to be coming up? Has your season panned out? Has, has it been better than expected? Did you think that you should be mm. a bit further up? I well, first half of the season was terrible. Under McCann, we just we had we had a good start to the season, and then towards I'd say November when we played Exeter, when we lost three two in the dying seconds, it just fell off from there with McCann. Well, and since we brought Fergie back in, um, to the club for the second half of the season, we've looked a different team, um, better style of football. We we, we just look more organised because with McCann, we just we just didn't look organised in defence. They looked massive gaps all over the pitch. With Fergie, because he knows the club so well, we've it's, it's just his style of football which has just transformed our team because because in January we signed. Um, Norris from Burnley, he was out for it. He's, he's made a bit of an impact, but the biggest impact has been our better from Swansea. Absolutely amazing player. Um, mm. left, left back. He's unfortunately missing tomorrow. So, I mean, mm. yes, he, brilliant play. He can, he's wing back, go forward. He, yeah, he's amazing. I mean, when obviously McCann, you know, we're changing him back what more med. What well, Ferguson, yeah. Preferred choice with the other managers, but you'd might have thought of coming and doing a better job, or do you think yeah, Ferguson more or less knows what setup is 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 best suited for Peterborough at the minute? Well, no when we sacked McCann, no one expected him to come back. No one. We mm. thought that was done for him. But well, this is the last one he's gonna be doing. Well, the, mm. well, he could be he could be actually joining us permanent, what I've heard. But um yeah. It's it's been a good it's been a all right season. With under Fergie, mm. I mean, for me, at Barnes, obviously, we had a you know, we both come down, unfortunate. Um, mm. for me, I think Duff's come in is uh, rebuilt the not just the team but the squad and set certain standards in, in place. And you can tell that we are got the team playing. Uh, we know that League One's really hard. I mean, like when we did predictions of before the season, you look at some sides in via and even sides what are just missing out at the minute. You look at Portsmouth, Wickham, Charlton, you know, them kind of teams, what we're at in it. But it's been a long, hard season. Um, we went through a bit of a blip. You know, we went on an unbeaten run, but made a bit of a blip after Christmas. And it was like looking at automatics and then you're looking at playoffs. And then I think while well, you keep playing until it's mathematically possible, you never give up. Um, for me... My player, what I think has been an outstanding of the season for me for Barnsley has been Luke O'Connell. Um, as far as I can aware, as far as I'm aware, sorry, he is back for the game. Um, he's been out for the last two games, it'd be a stomach issue, stomach bug issue. Captain Mads might be missing for the game. Uh, apparently, he's got a bit of a, a tight hamstring, so I think it's like more precaution than all else. I, I'm looking at like Peterborough and Harris, I mean, Clark Harris, I, I, I think he's an immense player. Um, I w if I'm being honest, I'm really surprised we managed to keep holding him in January transfer window. I thought, you know, a money offer to come in. But I think under Ferguson, what, what I noticed as well is that under McCann, it was, I think it was like, it was a weird, weird way of football I'd played. I don't know, it was like two reserves sometimes. McCann's come in and what I've said, uh, sorry, when Ferguson came over and took over at, from McCann, you could see that bit more of a structure, a bit more uh, oh, yeah. a belief in back in Peterborough's side. Well, that do you think that like spurred on the, the belief of players and like push on with your eye now at, at minute, uh, Jacob? Well, you know how you said Clark Harris was should have been gone in January. Mm. He hasn't had his best season, even though he scored 25 goals, I think it is. He's not mm. even been our player of the season. He, of course. Every push fan probably thought, but he's he's played more minutes than we've expected because of his injury problems all the season. Mason Clark, our winner, has been our best player of the season. He came in from Bayern in the summer because we played um, them in a the pre season friendly in the summer. He was their best player by an absolute country mile. So McCann wanted him then. 
and he's gone get double figures, 10 goals, 10 assists, I think, or something like that. But um, mm. one also awesome thing about us, Oliver Norburn, since he's come back from his ACL, he's been absolutely outstanding because last year in the championship, he was our best player of the season. So, and of course, our midfield too with Norburn and Jack Taylor has gelled really nicely. So, because um, Jack Taylor is more of a more of a, an advanced playmaker, what I mean. So, like, more of the number eight. Um, yeah, the thing is with Clark Harris, I we could I could see him moving on in the summer, but with with our owners, we'd have to get at uh, probably four million free, some just just something around that because well, well, he's twenty eight now, isn't he? I think he is. He's mm. still a decent <laughs> age for um, a championship club to pick him up. Mm. Interesting, that. I mean, like, so they have Clark Harris, and you know, and it's always good to have insight to other fans as well. You know, from an outside point of view, you know, I think a lot of clubs that have took him, you know, uh, but it, like I said, you never know what's going off. You see, you, you you know, you all watch Peterborough week in, week out, like Cardo Barnsley as well. Uh, so that's interesting. I mean, under Duff, uh, you're thinking about early, early season, um, uh, but it, it's settled down with like a some call it a back three. I always call it like a back five because it's like three centre backs, two wing backs, and then your midfield trio and a, like an attacking midfielder floater, and you like to play two up front. Um, and I think that's been more or less his go to formation right now. Under Fergie, when he took over from McCann, did he alter it formation at, at, at any point? Did he get a different style of play, uh, Jacob? Oh yeah. Well, the formation we're playing right now is. Well, the formation we were playing when we were we had a very good run was like a four-two-three-one, with mm. with what are, I can't describe. But we did play a four-two-three-one, which we played in the promotion season when we went up to the championship a couple of seasons ago. So and Ferguson was manager then, so he's used that style, the same style when he was at manager at that time. And it's just mm. transforming the team. It's just a different mindset to the team. It's more passion to the side. Um, it's it's a really good feeling around the club, but um, the thing the thing is right. We're our owners just it's a state at the minute. Um, of course, my company. We're it's just a we're just not in for the summer. I uh, for the summer. Um, um, we're um, we're not going to buy a lot of players in the summer for me because we've got we've bought. If you've heard, we've been given a three point deduction if we do something stupid again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it's not looking very good towards the ownership at the minute. Hopefully, we can get um a better sign back on the permanent because he's absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing player. Yeah, been beard and back we own is I feel you pay with that. I mean, we had same uh, with change of ownership last season. We all we all know we have this specific media group kind of thing. So yeah, I feel you pay with that. It's it's like us as fans that suffer. Uh, we can see the problems, but you know, uh, anything any club, uh, no matter who it is in, in football league, you never want to see bad owners. You want to see owners what's got bent, best interest, not just for club but also for fans, because the fans what pay the money week in week out, going home and away, and doing a lot of miles and a lot of travel. Um, yeah, so getting back to the game, I mean, Barnsley, we lose our draw. We're not going to move out to fourth spot. Uh, I'm looking at the table like now, nah, and obviously you need to win against us. And uh, it's a bit ironic, this. You, you want in our South Yorkshire neighbour, Sheffield Wednesday, to do you a favour mm. and beat Derby as well. So it's a bit... I know both games are going to be on light sky, so it's going to be make good viewing for the neutral. But as a Peterborough fan, knowing that you've got to come and win... Um, and also de be dependent on Derby County as, uh, you know, like slipping up against Wednesday. So, having said that in mind, you've just got to concentrate on your, well, you, but uh, Peterborough, the, the sense have just got to concentrate and just go for a win, uh, Jacob, haven't we, really? Yeah. Well, ideally, you need to let us win tomorrow. Ideally. And Derby lose, which, which we're hoping for, but I can't really see it that way. Because I think, well, you lot are very good side. You've you've lot of really transformed under Michael Duff with a good style of play. Um, mm. So it'll be a tough game. I don't know if you lot will rest players or not, which could depend on us getting players. And I have no, absolutely no idea. But yeah, it'll be it'll be it'll be a good game. Um, 
Yeah, but it'll be a good atmosphere for Marsh. We'll bring in about 2k, so um should be good. Yeah, I mean, I think it last game we made about three three different changes to starting lineup. Um uh, and again, I think in it's not one to risk players uh, with playoffs coming up. And I, and like we know, we both know, at League One, there's been a load of games and Carabao Cup and uh, Pizza Trophy Cup and everything. So I think it's got to be a stick point at season. Like what I said, win, lose or draw, we're fourth, regardless if uh, Bolton win or not uh, in their game in fifth. So I have a feeling, like I just said, I think Mads Anderson, I don't think he'll, he'll play. I think he'll not take the risk. Luke O'Connell, whether he goes straight back into first team or whether he goes on bench, being out for two two games. Adam Phillips, another one, um, he's been in and out. So I, I, w- I wouldn't be surprised, Jacob, if I'm being honest, if Michael Duff will probably make about another three changes again. Just basically, just to give players a bit of a, a rest or not to pick up a, I don't know, a knock. I don't like that. Uh, with playoffs coming up, so potentially I could see a few changes, mate. If I'm being honest, um, the formation I think will just stay the same. Um, it hasn't really altered the formation, it's just for personnel, which I, I, I could see him making them changes. Um, again, would I'm, I'm surmising Peter Brave have got no major injury concerns, you're going to be coming with full, you know, your best start 11 and Guinness to go, aren't you, really, to be yeah. fair. Well, looking for goals, looking for goals. <laughs> we don't really. All better goals. missing. We're, we're bringing Dan Butler. He's absolutely horrendous. Absolutely horrendous player. So right, it's going to be mm. interesting. I mean, like I say, it's it's an early kickoff at all, and it's midday kickoff, and you're fetching about two thousand up something like that. So it's going to be a good uh, following. Mm. All being well, you can get great result. Uh, I'm I'm wanting you to you know get spot. In, because you need a win. I mean, if it's a draw, you'll you'll just miss out um, by a point. Uh, I'm wanting you to get in playoffs. If I'm being honest, uh, I'd, I'd 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 be in playoffs all day long, mate. Um, I really do. And again, I'm hoping that the South Yorkshire neighbours are going to do do you a favour and all because they need to beat Derby, which I can see happening. I can see it happening because I think I think when they want to go up. Again, in form, if you didn't play off, you want to be going in with form, don't you? Into playoffs, you don't want to have a blip it out like that. And again, it'd be interesting to see their start in 11 as well. Um, school prediction, then, Jacob. I mean, what are you going well, for? <laughs> well, like, realistically, I think it's going to be a 1 1. But, like, mm. if what I want to go is maybe a 3 0, but we, I can't never see that happening, never. So, realistically, 1-1, one, one, I think we'll miss out on the playoffs, unfortunately. Because, well, if you look at it, between us and Derby, Derby been in the Premier League. We've never been in the Premier League before. And the, the squad they've got, the experience they've got, the goals at Curran, James Chester, Curtis Davis, and all them mm. experienced yeah. players, which wages are... What, I wonder what McGoldrick's wages are on. 12k? Mm. 10k? Yeah. Some, we shouldn't have that. We, our squad depth's not the best. Because um, what we've got... Our starting eleven's really good, but our squad depth, we've got on the bench like Joe Randall. We've signed we signed him for one million from Exeter, absolutely wasted there. Shimango from mm. Chesterfield, mm. wasted. But he hasn't Shimango hasn't had much game time because of Clark Harris, because we can't really take off Clark Harris when we're in, in a big off big off opportunity to get into the playoffs. Mm. But yeah, it's cool. Four one, I think, unfortunately. Well, I'm going I think there's gonna be goals, isn't it? And Evan Having seen the, the score against MK Dunsman, we went 1-0 and then we were losing 4-1 until oh, substitutions yeah. got made. It were 4-4. Four, four. I'm like, wow. Uh, so we did come back. Um, I'd like to go for a bounce of win, but I think you are going to come for it. I think Caris is going to be an handful for our back three. I think if Mads Anderson is playing and Robbie Cundy does, I think that could be a potential bit of a, a thing you could pick out there. I'm going... Devante Cole, I think, is one of your best players. Yeah, to be fair, he hasn't been too bad, but his for the last few games has been it's been frustrating. Uh, a lot of running off at ball, but not into good positions. The player I've been impressed with is James Norwood. Um, He's and good his work, what he puts in his shift, it, and it's not just running with the ball; it's what he does off at ball as well, dragging, taking players out into positions. Creating spaces for such as like Adam Phillips come forward. 
Um, I'd like to see, personally, I'd like to see Evan uh, Max Waters come on off a bench and square two goals at MK Dons. I'd like to see him up front with James Norwood because I think Max Waters came on and he, he turned back game round and we drew four apiece. So I'm going 2-2. Um, and if you're Nick it 2-1, 1-0. We're not and, 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 and Derby lose, then I'll I'll be happy. Uh, I'll be happy. But I just think there's goals in it. And I think having watched the MK Dons, knowing that you're going to be coming for a win, uh I think it could. I think it could be an interesting game. I, I don't. I'll well, put it this way. I don't think it's going to be a game that it's going to be sat back and it's going to be playing out for a ball draw. You're going to be going for it, and yeah. we're going to be going for it. And it might be an open game. And again, for neutral, I think it'll be make good uh, TV viewing. Uh, but it'd be interesting. I, I, and I hope you'll go up into uh, six spot, mate, um, so we can carry on uh, having a chat and a debate and uh, end of season. And when playoffs and that as well been sorted out, we'll have a we'll go through his prediction because I don't think we're a million miles off to be fair. So that'd be an interesting one. Um when you look at the bottom of the table. Right now, I think you've got the playoffs. I think it'll be Bolton. Honestly, mm. Bolton, we, we lost them 5 0. they were very good side against us. Um but yeah, Bolton, I think I think they'll challenge you. I think they'll really challenge you. Because they you know they mm. they're already playing you. So I think Bolton could do it. Uh, Chef Wente could do it. You lot could do it. We could do it. You know. Mm. Realistically, famous, I think, in Bolton. I mm. think they'll beat you in this case, unfortunately. <laughs> It'd be interesting. It'd be, be an interesting one, that, and be allocation about how it all pans out. Again, with TV, Sky, and everything like that, and what days are fall on, and what we'll get alloc- allocated. There's rumours that Bolton are only going to give us about 2,000 tickets. Whereas I think we were going to give him about 4,000. So again, when you're trying to get an away ticket for, you know, we're making it on a point system where um, when you've been away, you allocate these points. Now, if I then go for two, for first 2,000, then it'd be a shame for the rest of them what's going to potentially miss out on semi final. So again, I'm hoping that that can get sorted out with Bolton, uh, you know, allow, because we'll be, people will want to go there and it's not a million miles away, it's only over Pennine. So, um, Jacob, as always, it's been a pleasure having you on, mate. Uh, thank really you. like thank talking you. and getting your insight. Not a problem, mate. Not a problem. Uh, when you come, have a safe journey as well, mate. Uh, have yeah. a safe journey. Um, I know it's an early early kickoff, and all being well, results right for you, and, and you didn't play off, mate. So, um, like I said, got a lot of time for Peter Brains and, and you uh, having a lot of time, mate. So, yeah, really appreciate you uh, taking time out. Uh, People who are watching, please like, subscribe and share. And look at Peter for Fan TV as well as on Twitter. Good content and they'll come out with polls and uh, stuff like that. League One, um, always always a good read. Uh, knowledgeable kid, got a lot of time for Jacob. If you haven't seen the previous videos, have a look at previous videos. Because um, he knows what he's talking about. And it's not just about Peter, but it's all about football league as well. Football things in general, so it's always a good debate. Uh, if you're coming up, Peter fans... Have a safe journey, like Jacob as well. Safe journey, safe travels. Let's hope it's an enjoyable game. Referee don't spoil it, and it's a free-flowing game, an exciting game, uh, whichever team you support. So one thing left to say, and you're Reds. <laughs>